believe that one of the first times that shaped my way of thinking for quite a considerable period of time, Mike, was when I was nine years old and I tried out for Little League. Uh, and that was during the era where not everyone made the team. Right. Okay? Right. And they picked the ones and the rest of them were what they call cut. Okay. And I remember being nine years old and after all the practices, I went through weeks of practice and the uh, coach had come up to me and, and told me that uh, he said, hey, uh, you need to polish your skills a bit and uh, come back next year. Keep going. Uh, this isn't a indictment on you. And he, he prefaced it by saying, I understand if you're going to hate me mm -hmm. and saying that, however, uh, there's other players on the team that deserve the spot right now. Mm -hmm. And I kept the stiff upper lip, but I was nine years old. And when I got home, I was crushed. I was destroyed. It's hard. To, it's hard to take that, right? You know, especially at that young age, you're, you're still learning how to process those kinds of things. I sat in my bed and I cried and cried and cried. Mm -hmm. And you know, my father come in and, like most males of that area, emotionally constipated. Uh, the only acceptable emotion that a male could show back then was anger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he expressed his anger at the coach. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'll go see him. And I no, no, no. Because it was, and which is also that was an emotional response for him as well, right? Absolutely. You know how how that how dare you not accept my child? You know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That was, a, that was deep hurt, and it shaped my way of thinking for many years, Mike. Uh, I decided that night that I was never going to allow myself to hurt like that again. And so I developed the attitude of, I don't care. And sometimes disappointment can lead to that. You develop defense mechanisms, mm -hmm. and one of them is, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Or acting out, what, whatever way that do. So... As a child, I wasn't taught to approach a situation uh, and look at it f from back rather than the front. And it, today I call that uh, inside out thinking rather than outside in thinking. Mm -hmm. So if I was able to outside in and that disappointment, Mike, was based on expectations. Mm -hmm. You're like, why, why wouldn't I get into this, right? I fully expected to be on that team mm -hmm. without even the possibility that that it did exist, that mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to make that team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the way most disappointments occur because we have expectations of something that is going to occur. Mm -hmm. And the person, place, thing, or situation does not live up to those expectations. Right. 